how people do it. Flannel around the waist, any of those? Nah, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's that Joshua Perry style. You know, you put the flannel around the waist, tied up. I, I, like I said, that's too much for me. I ain't, I'm not running to roll the dice on that one. All right, so on a weekend, what's your normal go-to outfit? Come on. <laughs> on my normal. And it has to be like going like not basketball shorts and a football t-shirt. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, <laughs> you know, just put some jeans on. <laughs> I got to be clicking like this. Put some jeans on, you know, get you some good pair of J's. But if you see, if you, it's depending on where you're going, see, because if you're going out to like a, a social scene, like the club or something like that, you don't want people to step all on your shoes and they'd be ruined. So you gotta, you know, you gotta, it depends on where you're going. If you're going to the club or something like that, you gotta put on some shoes that you really don't care about because they're gonna get ruined anyway, but the outfit still gotta look good. I mean, you know, that's typical outfit. Perfect typical answers. going out. Casual, yeah. casual. <laughs> Way more enthusiastic. Thank you. Seems like when we saw you for a while, you were in the undisputed hat everywhere. Yeah. You got the Cleveland going. You represent. Uh, yeah, you know, Cleveland, Cleveland. You know, Cleveland will rise this year. I'm going. I'm on record already saying that the Browns is going to go 16 and 0. <laughs> Tribe, I say that too. <laughs> the Tribe's going to flip this thing around, and we're going to the playoffs this year. How you doing, Tim? Did <laughs> you do this? Yeah, we're wrapping them up. So. Oh good, I talked to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Bud. Reaching on that. Well yeah, so I've been I've been supporting the hometown, you know, just making sure that you know, Cleveland was gonna I'm 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 all behind Cleveland this year on all sports. Yeah. Yes. 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 Hey, how about how about general with the secondary uh Tyvis, obviously you and Vaughn and and uh, and Eli are back there and then mm. looking for a new corner, that sort of thing. Give us a just a general thought on the secondary this year. Well, last year we were supposed to be the best. This year we're going to try to be the best secondary in not just the Big Ten, but in the nation. That's always been the goal. That's going to always be the goal. We're going to be very aggressive and try to get lead the nation in takeaways is our number one goal. When it, what point last, 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 question. At what point last year was it when things flipped for you guys? You know, Obviously, there were some struggles early, but you said you, know, you wanted to be the best. When did things start to turn around just before that run to the, to the national? Uh, the first time, as for a defensive side, the first time I seen the defense come together and play almost a whole perfect game was the Penn State game. When we, but we had kind of lost it towards the end. But throughout that whole game, we did a great job on defense of holding them to, I think, what seven points or something like that. So that what, what is what is Coach Ash asking you to take it to that next level in his second year? Coach Ash is like the the most. I don't know the word. He's he's gonna always be on us. It's like it's never gonna be perfect for him. <laughs> it's never gonna be perfect. It's always something that you can do better. And I think the reason he does that is because you know people. We get a lot of people on the defense that's got oh they supposed to be the next Jesus Christ and stuff like that. And he's <laughs> basically he's just trying to give us a reality check to make sure nobody gets the big head that everybody can work on something. And I think he's done an excellent job of actually keeping everybody level headed and grounded.